Good morning, you guys. Don't mind my face. Clearly, we just brushed our teeth. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. We got the new tripod set up. I'm loving it. A lot more convenient than trying to put a big old tripod on the counter here in the bathroom. Um, I am up this morning because, unfortunately, I woke up cramping this morning. Little Mother Nature decided to pay me a visit a little early, a little early, a little early. But at least it's this week and not my birthday week. So next week is my birthday week, so it'll be going by then. Yay! Well, by my actual birthday, it'll still be here next week. I think I'm pretty much a four to five day girl. Then I get really light on four and non, almost non-existent on the fifth day. Pretty much going by the sixth day, so I've always had... Shorter. I never go a whole seven days, thank God, because I don't know how y'all would do it. I'd be over it. Uh, <laughs> but we're up this morning. And, you know, sometimes I cramp during that time of the month, and sometimes I don't. It just depends. It really started getting dark, like, after my surgery. Like, I got, after I had my stomach surgery and I got my tubes tied, I really think it's like scar tissue that's really making it cramp. Even worse than it normally did. Alright. It is Saturday. So you guys know I like to take a little bit longer with the skincare routine. So we're going to go ahead and um, put on a face mask. So let's see what face mask we're going to use. Hold on. I need something that's really hydrating this morning. De-stressing. De-puffing. Okay, so we're going to use the Renewing Cucumber Peel-Off Mask. It's also by Freeman's. I like Freeman's masks. They're actually really, really good. They don't have very sensitive skin, so it doesn't really... Don't hurt something. I have really sensitive skin, so it doesn't really break me out or do anything. So this mask is clear, and it's a peel-off mask. I'm not really good with peel-off masks, but since, you know... Now this one you can't get close to your eyes. It will like like make them water. It's kind of strong, so I'll get like to right there and then I'll leave it. And I like to use this little brush. I got it in some little kit, but you can find these little silicone brushes anywhere. Walmart, Dollar Tree, Target, you know, whatever you prefer. Just make sure that since it is a peel-off mask, try to, you know, overlap. So when you peel it, but like I said, when I get ready to peel it, it's going to be a mess. I'm so bad at peeling off my back. I don't use this one a lot. But we need a little good renewing this morning, I think. For sure. I should have waited to brush my teeth. I could have got me a chai. Now I gotta wait 30 minutes. Uh I wasn't thinking. Uh, and try not to get it in your hair. <laughs> so try not to get it in your hair. Uh, as much as possible. Get this forehead. And uh but, uh, like I said, I don't get too close to my eye. Because it will make your eye waters pretty strong. Um, or whatnot. I'll just make sure this is good. And I'm going to try to get a little bit on my nose. There we go. It should be good. And I love the silicone brushes. I used to have like one of those fabric brushes. Don't do it, sis. Get you a silicone one. It don't matter what kind of mask you have. The silicone ones are so easy to rinse off and reuse. And then you don't carry bacteria. If you guys notice, I use a lot of disposable stuff on my face. Like these disposable rags or something that doesn't hold bacteria. It really helps with... I don't really have acne problems, but you can get acne from like dirty brushes and stuff like that. Now, mind you, that doesn't include my makeup brushes. Don't say nothing to me about it. I'm going to get it together. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to go and lay down while we 
I'll wait for this mask to dry and I'm going to show you guys my little secret weapon to uh, battling cramps. So let's go. All right, you guys, so I'm back and I'm in my bed area. We're going to chill out while the face mask dries and kind of work on this cramping area. I cramp like a little bit under my belly in the pelvic area. So if you guys know, I have done a collaboration with Rob, the brand, before they gave me the massaging eye mask that I still use today that heats up. That's very calming and soothing. And so they decided to send me their heating pad, their weighted heating pad. So it looks like this. And I love it because this is something I've actually wanted to try out. I've heard that for cramps and very severe abdominal pain because sometimes I have abdominal pain that does have, doesn't have anything to do with my cycle. I do have Crohn's disease as well, so sometimes I have abdominal pain. So this heating, this weighted heating pad, weighted is such a good design too. It has six heat setting. It um, auto has an auto off timer, so for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 90 minutes. Um, it fits snugly and provides an intensive heat effect for maximum pain relief. It's comfort, uh, comfortable fabric. It has a safety certification and it is machine washable. Like I said, it does come in this brown color. I don't know if it comes in another color that I did not um, check out, but you can go to the link in my description and you can see if it comes in other colors. Um, so... Like I said, I've been waiting to use this for this day because, like I said, I am been hearing a lot about heated heated uh, mattress uh, heated pads for. So, like I said, I've been waiting to use this because I've been so I've been waiting to use this until my cycle came on because sometimes I have really bad cramps and sometimes I don't. So for me, uh, a heated weighted pad would be beneficial. Um, I also am going to get Jalen Rose one because, like I said, hers are way worse than mine. So I'll probably just give her this one and then end up buying me a new one if I like it. Um, of course, it comes with a, a user manual because you need to know how to use your products correctly. You don't want any issues. Um, so, yeah. It just tells you, you know, what you get and all that kind of stuff. So you have a heated pad, a pad connector, adjustable belt, a controller connector, a controller, a power cord, and a plug. So here's what it looks like. It's huge, <laughs> bigger than I thought it would be. So the cord is already connected to it, but you can disconnect it um, from it, of course, because you would not put the plug in the washing machine. So it just slides in there and clicks uh it is weighted like it's not super super heavy like you're not going to work out in it <laughs> so it's not super heavy uh now i will say i don't know about this big old tag like you can't tear this out can you um i don't know i don't like this like that's very distracting i don't know if they had to make this tag this darn big that would be one downfall i would say um like i said it's Heated. I do love that it has an adjust. Is it adjustable? It's an adjustable, I believe. Yes, an adjustable belt. So say you don't want to just lay it on you. You could just wrap it. I guess I should put y'all down a little bit so y'all can see. You can wrap it around you. And I would just tuck this big old tag in. And then you could wrap it where you want to wrap it. And you can actually belt it in the back. And you can pull it. It's still not tight enough for me. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, all right. I'm going to make it a little bit tighter. Good thing about stuff being adjustable, right? It's not tight enough. Let's see if that's tight enough. So, we're going to try this again. Now that it's a little bit tighter. Now, the only thing I would say is I wish it was chargeable. Maybe if you had to walk around the house, like you could only do this in your bed, like because you do have to plug this up. You can't walk around with this. So the belt will keep it in a place while you're laying down in the bed. But if you want to walk around with this and have it be heated, it ain't really going to work. So I'm going to concentrate it a little bit down here this area because this is where the cramping is um so that's what i'm going to do so we're going to 
go ahead and and it's not moving either so you know how sometimes it's not tight enough it slides down it ain't doing none of that it ain't moving y'all it don't move <laughs> yeah if y'all know that reference let me know down below um so yeah all right so we're gonna plug it in now sometimes i get back pain as well not just pains for cramping sometimes i get pain in my back instead so it's very good you can move this around to your back um, and do the belt in the front um, if you have shoulder pain neck pain i'm sure you can wrap it like do all kind of things with it so this remote control is huge so you won't be able to mistake what you're doing so we're going to turn it on and it is currently on level three like she said it goes up so the the green is for how many minutes you want it to do so you can do 60 30 60 30 or 90 minutes and then this is for the level so six levels of heat so i'm going to put it on level six and we're going to let it heat up for a little bit while i chill out and wait for my face mask to um thing oh it heating up quick i can feel it already you guys like literally i can feel it already um so yeah we're gonna chill out for a minute and we're gonna see how this is gonna work so i'm gonna give it about 30 minutes or so while my face mask dries and we're gonna see how this works y'all know i got my little thing here so this is how it looks when you're laying down and you have the belt on you can position the belt how you want it to so i have it like concentrated right down here i can feel it warming up so it does warm up on this opposite side it's not warm on this side so you definitely have to put it on with this side facing out oh and it feels really good y'all i can tell already like i can feel it like right here in the area that i want it but i can also feel it up here um so it is heating up pretty quickly um, it's only been a, like a couple of maybe seconds, maybe a minute or two, and it's already like heating up, heating up like here. So I'm really loving it so far. So let's chill out for like 30 minutes. Let this bad boy kick in uh, because like I said, it is the first day and I am crappy today. So, you know, it might be a slower day today. I might be a little sluggish or whatnot. And I'm stiffy for some reason. But anyway, I'll be back in about 30 minutes and I'll give you guys an update. <laughs> all right you guys it has been more than 30 minutes i kind of dozed off it's probably been about an hour <laughs> it's 9 33 um this works well y'all like my cramps have melted away and that was just so peaceful because last night i was kind of cramped a little bit and it was waking me up but i just had an hour of uninterrupted sleep the face mask is getting really tight i heard my daughter get up as well i woke up <laughs> i probably still would have been asleep Heating pad is amazing. I do have a discount code for you guys. It will get you 5% off if you use my link down in the description box. I will put the code right here. It's B-A-B-H-T-P-A-D. -um, Once again, B-A-B-H-T-P-A-D for 5% off this lovely item. And like I said, you can use it for anything. It's not just for cramps. It's for back pain, shoulder pain, aches whatever keep you warm keep your feet warm use it out on the deck whatever you prefer it will work for you and it has six different levels with a great control it is washable automatically timer so you don't make a mistake and leave it on so it's 30 60 90 minutes it just has so many features and i love that it's weighted because it just like makes sure it sits where you want it to sit and it feels so good so let's go ahead and peel this mask off because it's been on longer than it should be and let's just get the rest of our day going see how easy it's going to be able to peel this mask off Ooh, not better than normal so, so good ah. Very satisfying. You know, we're not getting everything. I'll be able to get it with the toner, which is a wet cloth. All righty. Let's go ahead and 
on our face and just finish out our skincare routine. That mask really deep cleaned and moisturized my face. It feels so good. My goodness, I need to use that one a little bit more often. I like how my face feels. I don't mask as much as I should. I have a lot of mask in there, but I'm so bad at doing self-care for myself and taking that little time. I'm always doing the, like the mint julep one and all that kind of stuff. But I need to remember to use some other masks because they have different properties. Like this one was definitely a good mask for the day. My skin feels amazing. And I'm here for it. Alrighty. Skincare is done for the morning. So I think I'm going to myself to a little chai this morning i think somebody wanted my hot chai recipe or my ice chai recipe they're actually exactly the same but i'm gonna go through it step by step for y'all this morning um so that y'all can uh know how to do it so let's go into the um, kitchen or my tea station and let's get started all right, you guys, so first of all, when you start off making a chai, you need chai tea. Uh, a, a chai latte is not a coffee-based latte. It's a, a tea-based, and it's usually a black tea that has a lot of caffeine in it. Now, I don't do a lot of caffeine, so I do get some stuff that is caffeine-free, and I do get some chai that has caffeine in it. So my favorite company to get is Twinnings, and you can get it from... Publix, you can get it from Walmart. Those are probably the only two places. I never looked for it in Target, but that doesn't mean they don't have it. So the first one I would get would just be the regular chai that looks like this. So it looks like this. They have a caffeine-free or decaffeinated version, but it's really hard to find. So most of the time I find the one that is caffeinated. And so I like to get that one. And I just discovered this year that they have an ultra spice. So I like ultra spice means it's just more spice and it gives it a little bit more kick to it. And it's like cinnamon and like those kind of fall spices when I say spice. So you can get the twinning chai and the ultra spice. And then the other day, I did show you guys this box, which I do love, which is the Bangle Spice. Now, this is the spicy, or of it's even more spicy than the Ultra Spice um, one. And I like this one because if I don't want to put honey in there or out of honey, I can actually use this with no sweetener. It tastes really, really good without sweetener as well, but I'm just a sweet girl, so I put honey in everything. And I don't use sugar. I don't use sugar for sweetening any type of uh, sweet drink that I make I'm usually using honey um, so the Bangle Spice Celestial Herbal Tea is caffeine free so that's why I like this one as well you can pick this up at Walmart um, probably Publix and Target but I've never picked it up from there I've always picked it up from Walmart so you can get this as well so it's really really nice now I don't use this one for my iced I will use these the twenty for my iced ones, but I've never used this for actually an iced um, chai. Maybe one day I will, maybe this upcoming summer, but I always use it for, um, what do you call it? For the fall and winter. For some reason, it's just more fall and winter to me. So, but to each his own, do whatever you choose to do. All right, so the next thing you need, of course, is some kind of mug. They're going to use our, uh, but I love fall most of all mug today that I picked up at somewhere, Target, TJ Maxx, who knows, girl. I love it. And then the next thing you need, of course, is hot water. So I do have my little electric kettle here. I do have one on the stove, but I don't ever use it. They're just more for decoration. Um, so I'm going to use this one today. I don't know. I might make me a big, a big thing of spice, but I don't have a super big teacup, a teapot. These are like one cup, maybe two cups uh, pots. They're more for decoration, but I do use them sometimes. <laughs> but I'm going to fill this one up and we're going to get our hot water started. All right, so while our water is warming up, I'm going to show you what I use um, in my ice chives. I use three ingredients, of course, 
oat milk. I don't do almond milk. I don't do whole milk. I have like a dairy thing. It's not lactose intolerant. It's just I can't do nothing but oat milk. I used to do almond milk, but it started messing with my stomach. And even the oat milk sometimes will. So I still kind of limit any type of milk whatsoever. I don't know. It's just a it's probably a Crohn's disease thing. But today we're going to use our bangle spice. So we're going to go ahead and put our tea bag in here while we wait for our water to heat up. So I love to use this pure and simple honey from Walmart. This is what it looks like. I like this because you get the most bang for your buck. This whole thing is $17. I have and it is 80 ounces, 5 pounds, 2.27 kilograms. And when you go to the farmer's market and you get like the natural organic honey, it is like you could get maybe six seven ounces maybe ten for like thirty dollars no that's too much money and the ingredients in this there's one ingredient in here honey that's it so i do make sure it doesn't have anything else in it this has honey and that is it so i use that and then i like to use the tortellini brown sugar cinnamon in the sugar free since i do put a lot of honey in my tea and it's already sweet we don't need to add no more sweetener to it okay so sugar free um this is actually really really good but like i said if you like vanilla pumpkin spice whatever it is you can use that just get you whatever kind of sweetener whatever kind of flavor that you like and then i will show you guys my oat milk in a minute this is going to get loud <laughs> while it's boiling the water so i'll be right back water is finished boiling now the most important thing about doing this is to make sure that you steep the tea for the amount of time that it tells you to to get the strongest tea so for this it's like three to five minutes i usually do like four halfway in between and also do not fill your cup all the way up if you're going to add milk always do half maybe a little bit over half but i usually do like half and to get it to steep a little bit faster i like to take one of my teaspoons this one says sweet tea on it and I like to stick it on top of the tea bag just to hold it down in the water um, for that. So while that's doing that, I go ahead and warm up my milk. I'm going to bring you guys down so that you can see what I'm doing. So I usually get whatever oat milk they have at Aldi's, but I think I went somewhere else. So I use the Planet Oat Milk for here. And I usually put in my measuring cup, a half of cup. Um, I put more than what I want because when you heat it up, it does evaporate some. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe about right there. That is two-thirds, basically. Two-thirds of milk. Can y'all see that? I don't think y'all can. Hold on. Let's bring it down. There you go. Two-thirds of the milk. And then I do not put my... Uh, What's it called? My syrup in here until after I heat it up. So one of my tricks is to put it in a coarse microwavable safe glass, cover it with a rag, a napkin, or something to prevent the milk from bubbling over. And I put it on at two minutes. You want this to be super, super duper hot when you do this. So we're going to go ahead and do that and, and put it on two minutes in the microwave. So the trickiest thing about making this the hot way is getting the timing right. Um, when it comes to making sure everything is still nice and hot um, for you. So we have steeped for three minutes. How I know is that I waited one minute before putting my, by the time I do this, go to the refrigerator, put my milk in the thing, um, in the glass here, pour it out, put the rag on it, put it in the microwave. It's probably been about a minute. So then it's two minutes in the microwave. So that equals three minutes, right? Um, so next we're going to put in our honey. I used to have my honey in a cute little thing, but it gets uh, really hard and isolated. So like I said, I'm a sweet girl. So I, don't, I just eyeball how much honey I put in there. You can make it as sweet as you want to or don't want to. And then of course get you one of these little frother things. It definitely makes it easier to mix up the honey into the tea versus using a spoon. And I do this for like a minute because you really want it to be nice and well mixed because if not, it won't taste right. Believe me, I know. I've actually took me a while to perfect this recipe. 
I was trying to mimic the Starbucks. It's not quite like the Starbucks because I don't have sugar in mine, but it is close enough. And then I'll taste it. Perfect. All right, so we'll sit that to the side for a minute. And then next we're gonna take our glass. Now remember, this is hot. And I do put my syrup in this little container here. It does say brown cinnamon sugar because I bought the, the cup things off of Amazon that came with stickers, but it didn't come with a sugar-free sticker and they kind of messed it up. See how it has a space between the end and cinnamon? I don't know what they was doing. And I like flavor, so I put like 10, 15, 20 pumps in here. <laughs> and I'm not shamed either, so I just keep pumping until I feel like, you know, that's enough. So how many of the pumps you want? I like for mine to be flavorful. And then we're gonna do this while this is hot. You have to do this while it's hot or it won't froth correctly. And you're gonna do this like for a minute, for sure. A minute, 30 seconds, maybe even up to two minutes. I do it until I feel like it's frosted enough for me, but you can do it however you would like. And you will need a tall glass for this because it did, I've done shorter glasses and make a mess. So you need something to be able to, you know, take it. So you see it's still not as rough as I like. So I'm going to keep going. See, the longer you do it, the frothier it gets, and it has to be hot. And then I just take it, I'm gonna bring you guys up a little bit so make sure y'all can see. Hold on, so I can see too. And I just pour it in there, and then you have a nice frothy. I always worry that it's going to overflow, but it never does, <laughs> it just gets really to the brim. Um, and if you think it's an overflow, I just take it a little bit. And pick it up and I just <laughs> oh so good and then I'll go in there and pour the rest of it in there <laughs> and there you go and then I sometimes I'll put uh, what is it the brown sugar or the cinnamon frosting on top but I'm not gonna do that today because I don't feel like it and then you have a nice hot chai I'll do this in a clear glass sometimes just to see it and make it look pretty but most of the time I'll just put it in a mug all right you guys so the only difference between this and my ice chai is that I heat up the tea bags and then I wait till it cool down or I make a big batch as you guys seen and I put it in my refrigerator so it's already cold and iced and already has the honey in it but I do all that while it's hot let it cool down put it in a glass jar or a glass uh, pitcher put it in the refrigerator and then when I'm ready to make my ice version I'll take my clear ice cups and I will put the milk, the cold milk in there with the cold syrup and then I will froth it until it gets frothed. Then I'll put ice in there and then I will pour over the rest of the tea. So that is the only difference when I make it iced. So there you go. There's my ice chai recipe. Just one, two, three, 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 four ingredients and you're good to go. Alright guys, we're out here on the deck because we're about to wash the covers to this. This set, I did have it on the outside. We did spill some stuff on it. I spilled some stuff on it but even before the party. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out. And I am going to wash all of the covers here. And I'm just going to wash it on cold water. We don't want anything to shrink. I don't think I'm going to put them in a the dryer, even though I do put my dryer on cool. I'm just not sure if these are dryer friendly. Um, it does have like some piping in it, so I just don't want to do anything. And then, then I'm going to wash them on delicate. I definitely don't want to 
mess anything up or lose its shape or whatever the case may be. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, it was really hard getting these in here when I originally did this. So we're going to try to get this out without bussing the, what's it called? The zipper. So I'm going to try to fold it in like I did to get them in here. Let's see if we can fold it to get it out. God, it's like wrestling. Jesus, I ain't never seen such in my life. My Lord, it's already turning colors from being out in the sun. That's funny. Uh, wasn't even out there that long. So, there goes that. I'm going to go ahead and rustle with the rest of them and get them out. <laughs> I'm already sweating. Pray for me. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> all right. I got all the covers off. I'm about to go put these in the washing machine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I feel like I should close them and zip them, zip them all up. So I'm going to do that. little light here turn off this big light and let's go chill in my room for a little bit I'm gonna work on some stuff on my laptop probably catch me a movie like I said it's definitely chill laid back Saturday for sure Jayla's supposed to be doing her homework and taking out her hair let me go see what she's doing I don't want to hear nothing about last week about you don't want to go to class because you ain't did your homework. No, ma'am. We're not doing that today. So let me check on her and I'll be back. Why am I over here looking sad and busted and crusty because Jalen's friend came and picked her up. And now they headed out to eat together. She don't diss me for her friends. That's true college student fashion. I never thought this day would come. <laughs> And I feel some type of way. Is that bad? I don't care. But anyway, she don't got her makeup on. She don't took her braids out wearing her hair all crinkly. Got a little, stole my little jacket. I mean, she doing all the things that I used to do when I used to come home and hang out with my friends. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But yeah, my mom is like right around the corner. You know, she said she's going to be at 2 o'clock. That part. But anyway, I told her to have fun. Her friend Lupe can drive now. I was like, Lupe, please. Please help this child of mine. We're going to have to get her driving, y'all. We're going to do something. We can't We can't keep going on like this. I got to get this door fixed for a place up there. Go grandma coming up the driveway like a darn psychopath. My mama drives so fast, y'all. She drives so fast. She be one riding in my darn grass. I knew it was somebody's little self. Wait for Lupe to drive out. Oh, Lupe got a cute little car. <laughs> her friend, her cute little car. Look at this. It's a cute little car. They got. Bye, Jalen. My mom came over. We're finna make some chili in the crock pot. I forgot about the. Uh, I actually took a nap. That's why I'm back so late. I took a nap. And uh, I am drying one set of the, what them things called? The little covers for the patio. And now I'm going to put the other set 
in the washing machine. I have them on a low heat, slow tumble dry. So they should not shrink. I'll probably take them out before they get fully dry. But we'll just have to see. Um, whatever. Maybe I'll do like 30 minutes. And I put two of these in here because I want these to be clean. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to zip these up as well. Put them in here. I'm going to put the new crock pot to use. Yes, I still have on my pajamas. I told y'all this is a super lazy day. And it is what it is. Maybe me and my mom will find a movie to watch or something silly that we can laugh at. Huh? Right quick. Huh? I can't hear you. Wait a minute. Why people try to talk to me in the laundry room? They know you can't get in. <sighs> All right. That's done. My mother took 7,000 years. She didn't want to get out of that bed. I know what that was. <laughs> Why you think I'm still in my pajamas? <laughs> it's Saturday. It's a Saturday lazy day. For sure. Why the world? First time I've been to the grocery store since Jason left. <laughs> <laughs> to actually get. I didn't even get that many grocery stores. I only got like. It's like my Stacy chips. The kind I like. Ooh, it's hot in here. We got stuff for the chili. We got cookies and I got some stuff to make a salad. Y'all guess what's out? <laughs> the winter sprite is out, you guys. I got the zero sugar, the winter sprite cranberry sprite. If you've never had it, get it. The zero sugar tastes just as good as the one with sugar in it. How was it? Cranberry goodness. I saw them. I saw them. Uh, Paint those. You know, I always have to get some donuts. Huh? I saw them paint those signs. The Walmart sign? Mm -hmm. Those guys definitely did that. I would. Oh, y'all. It be getting hot so quick. It's 86. Yeah. I need it to be cool every day. You want know, uh, no thing. When, in November, they're going to uh, going to rain. And it's going to They're going to cool off? Mm -hmm. You still got that. I just want to cool off without the rain. Well, okay, well, no, they, no, we had rain. <laughs> they said Atlanta did not have no rain this whole month. We hadn't had rain on my neighbor kill. Have we not had rain this month? You sure? I'm positive. Oh, <laughs> Why do you think everybody calls look like that? And everybody got a dry day on call. The air is. Well, hell, it rains enough also. <laughs> it's going to rain the whole it's month. month. It's probably rain. You should rain the whole month in November. Don't say such so, things. <laughs> <laughs> don't say such things. I like the rain. I don't. You don't, because you had to go. I gotta leave the house. Oh, okay. I don't have to be. Well, I leave the house, but I have to go as far. I don't have to go as far. Guys, um. Jalen's home. Oh my God, I can't believe I have a seven minutes left on this, Jane. The chili is cooking. It ain't nowhere near done. It's on 41, but we're going to cook it all night. So that's what it looks like. Um, Jalen is home. She did buy a perfume, but the bottle, the top of it is broken, so she can't squish it out. So we're going to take that back tomorrow and change it. I did edit the vlog. And Loser is now trying to do her head. And then she bought everything she could find when she went out. She bought this. She bought a hell of another milk jug. A perfume bottle. I'm going to put it in my pocket right quick. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, then she bought this where she put her birthstone inside of it. She bought a Christmas Hello Kitty Warm Wishes slime because <laughs> she's still a kid at heart with boba balls in it. Yeah. And then she got these little that she don't close up in the drawer. She got these little shouts. These little shouts. What's all these is? A medium? Yeah, we've got the same shorts. And then she got something that tell time. And you still ain't drink that juice. It was too sweet even for you. You need to get another cup and pour half of the cup in half in another cup. Okay. And she finna get ready to do her hair. Oh, come get this little mirror. You obviously can't do your hair if you can't see. Why you got that closet door open? Because when I, every time I hit it, yeah. it's weak. Hmm. Oh, and then she got this. Talking about she gonna put popcorn in it, but didn't buy no fucking popcorn. <laughs> huh? So there's that. Caramel. You don't know caramels. That's ah, it. Slap her, you slurry. No pictures, please. No pictures, please. <laughs> ah, Happy Sunday. So I'm up. I was gonna go to the farmer's market with my mom, but I guess it depends on if Jalen Rose is awake or not because we have to do her hair and I can't be gone all day trying to do all the things. But I do need to clean up a little bit in here. I'm gonna go see if she's still asleep. If she's not asleep, maybe we can go ahead and get to washing all her hair and waking her up. That little child of mine be up all night long. So you just never know. I just blew off this porch and now it's chewing and stuff all over it. Again. It's a little nippy out here this morning. I have to wear something. If I go to the farmer's market, I definitely have to put on a jacket or something. To that effect. I need to put all those dishes up. I need to put all those dishes out of there. I think this chili is as done as it's going to get. I'm going to change this mode to warm. Unfortunately, <laughs> the chili is really bland, you guys. Um, my mom can't have a lot of sodium, so she made it. But it's so super bland. So I don't know. I don't want to add anything for her. So what I'm going to do is when she gets here, if it's done all the way through. If she likes the flavor, I'm going to put her some in a bowl. And then I'm going to try to season this up for me and Jason <laughs> some more. Because right now it's, it smells good, but it doesn't have the best flavor, unfortunately. So there's that. I did get up and get ready because I do need to film today, tonight. So hopefully I will have the capacity and the energy to do that this evening. Let us pray. I don't have to go into work tomorrow because, like I said, the epic people are coming on site and they want us to come in on Tuesday and Wednesday since they won't be here on Monday. So I'm going to go in on Tuesday and Wednesday. This week coming up, I'm not going to go in tomorrow. So that's helpful. Well, so that'll help me a lot. need to switch over my closet i need to edit today's video which will probably go out late last night video only went out late because i wasn't paying attention uh ridiculous i know um what was i gonna look up i was gonna look something up on this computer oh i was gonna import this footage that's what i was going to do for the 26 today is the what's today's date i don't even know what today's date is y'all i gotta give me a calendar or something i gotta start switching all these closets too yeah, me and my mom finna go to i decided to change my mind go to the farmer market yes, jaylen hair is detangled again because she didn't do it right the first time mm. and here's her beautiful art project Oh. It looks good. Yeah, she just yeah. stressing out for no reason. Somebody sedate me. Huh? <laughs> Somebody sedate me. Sedate you. Oh my god, girl. Bye, child. We'll be back. Okay. You need to get your. Oh, you need to turn that iPad off of silent in case I call you. Okay. Oh, lies. She a chicken head friend. You're a chicken.
whatever. Anyway, I'll be back. It's cloudy, y'all. It's going to rain this week. I hope it don't rain today. It'll just stay cloudy. Or it don't rain until I get back from taking Jalen to school later on. It's still early. It's not even. It's 10 something. So, it's not that late yet. But it's a gloomy day in the neighborhood. I'm just going to get in the back now then. Yeah, get, on, get on my side. I'm going to let you chauffeur me. <laughs> okay. get on, get on I'm going to get chauffeured today, y'all, by my mama. <laughs> in the little... In the little mini it's Cooper. Gonna eat, it's gonna eat all the paint off. I know. I got to uh, I actually need to try to get it started so I can take it down to him so he can figure out what's wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I just bought a starter. So hopefully it didn't go bad. I think I got a. Oh no, I think they said you only get the warranty one time. So well, if you he go. The not the starter. Yeah. yeah. Did you have a towel in your hand? A what? A towel. I don't know what you need. You got something in your seat. Oh, that's that uh, hand stuff. It's not wet. Okay. That's that hand stuff that I've been wasting all over my car. I don't know what eating in here. Ugh. And sometimes I'll wash my hand and have me see that too. Can it be good? Yes. If I stop being so fat, I can get in. <laughs> need to come up some more? No, you fine. It's me. It ain't you. It me. All right. My mama dry like a bat out of hell, y'all. Don't kill <laughs> they might be police officer listening. <laughs> oh, she said, "Don't call the popos on her because she drive like a bad." <laughs> we all drive fast in this family. Mari drive like a psychopath too. I think Marco the only one who drives slow. Oh God, he's old. Oh, and, uh, Marco's an old man by Yeah, Marco. he drives really slow. Us, we be trying to get where we going and be done. Mm -hmm. Everybody else be on a Sunday drive every day. <laughs> but that don't mean it's right. We shouldn't be speeding. <laughs> But we do be. Uh-huh. Not that turn it on you. <laughs> oh Lord, I am weak. Alright, I'm finna go because my mom wanna play her church music, so I'm that lady y'all. Pick up my auntie. Before we go to the farm. By the time I get home, it's gonna be tomorrow, child. I'll be taking Jada home late tonight. Always some, ain't it? I gotta go shoot thing copyright. Back to take the little one to school, and the whole family decided to join us today. All right, then, uh, Bert, we, put that give us that trail of prayer. We have the aunties and the grandmother. Oh, Jalen, wrong hand. Oh, Lord God, we thank you for the opportunity to be together on this day. Oh, Lord God, we ask you to protect us if we take Jalen back to school. And protect us coming back. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Sorry, Amen. Amen. Sorry. <laughs> I knew it was gonna connect, but you have to keep pause it until it connects. Look at you! You even got your face on there cheesing. You <laughs> <laughs> got your face on there cheesing. I thought it was supposed to be you and Ashley on there. Ashley, she ain't got you on there. What you finna do? In your Grand Cherokee. Let's take a little one back to the dorms in her education. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> too funny. In her it's 2.50. I think last time I came on, he was almost, what, before noon? Sorry, but in my most of the day, but we, just, we ain't really doing nothing. What time is it, Kelly? It's 2.51. Good time. It's not. It's not. It's a Sunday, and everybody in my room, when we come back to my town, when we come back, I got you. Ugh, but it will do. It will do. Back home. Um, dropped Jaden off, then I take my auntie home, then came back to the house. And now I'm editing tonight's video. And I also need to record a video as well when I get finished. So I'm gathering all of the things that I may possibly need. And I'm um, getting that together. Turn on these lamps. I swear, I need a, like a universal remote that goes to all of my lights. I got a remote for the lamps, a remote for, for the big lights. I always leave them like somewhere in the bed instead of on the nightstand. <laughs> so I'm always looking for them. And to be honest, I might record tonight's video in exactly what I got on. We're just going to be chill, laid back in a sweatshirt. And that's totally fine to 
totally, totally fine. And then I need to get a charger because I moved it out of here. So I need to get a charger and that should be it for that. So editing, recording, and then I will see you guys when all that's over. So it'll be a couple hours from now for sure. It is 6.36 now. I think I got home about 5.30. So home about an hour and been editing and uh since then so i will check in with you guys when we're finished 8 23 and i am finished editing finally and it's uploading i don't feel like filming no more so it's a bus maybe tomorrow i'm trying to like make myself get into it but i have to move all this stuff it's a lot i don't think we're gonna make it tonight if I had got home earlier and was able to do everything I wanted to, I did a lot of running around that I did not expect to do today. So it took longer than we anticipated. So I am not going to do it. Nope. We're going to go in here and make us probably a salad for dinner. And then we're going to get in the bed, take a shower, wipe this makeup off. And we're going to try again tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow will be successful. You know? So I'll check in with you guys. Probably take a shower first then make dinner so we can lay in the bed and watch tv while we eat that sounds like a plan right right let's go <laughs> oh, it feels so good to lay down this little pillow thing be coming in clutch you hear me i actually sleep with it in the bed at night and it's very supportive for sure it's so good i lay it down flat so good anyway we're not gonna watch tv we have not read or listen to our audiobook in like two days i want to say so last because friday when i picked up jay is probably the last time i listened or read anything so um my what the people name my um library had some books so you guys know i told you my favorite authors are james patterson and john sanford Robert Dugani, Freedom at Fadden, um, and a couple other people. So I am actually going to read, is it Judgment Prey? I think so. I don't know why the other one hasn't downloaded yet. I think it hasn't synced to my library. But we're going to read Judgment Prey, which is the Lucas Davenport book. Um, what are you talking about cute? I'm going to need you to download, boo boo. Is my internet not on? What's it doing? I borrowed it from my library. And... It says cued instead of downloading. I don't know what that means. Oh, hell. Now I got to Google. I was going to... Okay, there it is. It's ready now. Oh, okay, okay. So we're going to get this all set up with our little page turner. Yep, because I'm going to be eating my salad. And we're going to turn the little pages. Yes, sir. Make sure it's not blocking the page. Get our remote together. We got our nice salad. Y'all know I love to make a really big salad. And I eat and um i got me some water some water some water some water some water so we're gonna put on our blue light glasses here and we're gonna get to reading <laughs> 